Dear colleagues, hello. My name is Mark Stein and I'm a clinical psychologist and an IEDTA certified teacher and supervisor in ISTDP. I would like to warmly welcome you to an open seminar in Warsaw. By invitation, I will be presenting some of the teachings of Dr. Josette Ten Abdelbej. The topic is the Working Alliance, helping our patients to relinquish his or her defences and to separate his or her healthy ego from pathological superego parts. I will also be discussing some of the challenges of working cross-culturally with patients in China. According to Dr. Ten Hab de la Berge, most of our patients enter therapy with high superego and character pathology. The higher their pathology, the more their functioning has become automatic and in obedience to or identification with their pathological superego parts. The more their healthy constructive ego part has become deaf, blind, mute, paralyzed. As long as the patient's healthy ego is totally or highly identified with pathological superego parts, no working alliance will be possible. The, ther the therapist needs the patient's observing ego as a partner to establish a conscious working alliance. The therapist needs the patient's attentive ego as a partner to establish a conscious and unconscious working alliance. To defeat the pathological superego parts, the patient also has to be strong enough to relinquish the self-defeating processes they put into operation and to bear and contain his or her impulses and painful feelings. As soon as the therapist has the patient's attentive ego as an ally, the conscious and unconscious working alliance should be focused on restructuring the patient's ego adaptive capacity. In Dr. Ten Hab de la Berge's approach to treatment, the therapist invites the patient to take part in the unconscious working alliance by addressing the patient's broken longings, their lost hope, and their faith to be important enough to be understood with love, care, precision and honesty. The therapist invites the patient to have empathy for him or herself, for not being aware of how normal and habitual self-defeating processes have become, for having become accustomed to self-destructive processes and suffering while his or her longing was for compassion. The therapist uses interventions such as confrontation, identification and clarification in the service of helping the patient to separate his or her healthy ego part from pathological superego parts. Having appealed to the patient's healthy ego part, the patient's ego begins to separate from the self-destructive and self-defeating superego parts. I will present excerpts from two initial extended sessions with patients, as well as a later session with a patient who is highly dismissive of the therapist, the therapist's interventions, and his own wishes to get help and to overcome his problems. Through the excerpts, I will demonstrate interventions to help patients with high superego pathology and low ego adaptive capacity to open the front door and perceive the real therapist. To establish and maintain a working alliance with the patients and to begin restructuring his and her ego adaptive capacity to separate his and her healthy ego from pathological superego parts. To more fully understand the consequence of continuing to put into operation self-defeating processes in relationship with the therapist and in relation to himself and herself. 
and to begin to turn against his and her previously highly syntonic, automatic, unconscious and habitual use of various front door defences. I sincerely hope you will join my Polish colleagues and I at the seminar organised by Centrum ISTDP. The seminar will take place on the 1st of March 2019. Clinical supervisions will be on the 28th of February. The hard working continues with core training on the 2nd and 3rd of March. Until then, Dovizenia.